Mega Minion Challenge? Do you know what this means? Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are going to get right after it today because we have a special event in the tournament section. The Mega Minion Challenge, dude. That's awesome. Because I use the Mega Minion a lot. I use him in her, it, the rope. It's like a robot, right? What is it? I don't know. I use it in a lot of decks that I've been playing with. So, for example, this deck, I've been using her, it, the robot in a lot of, in this deck. And it's been doing fairly decent. Um, I'm pretty good. I mean, I guess, you know, one, a few in a row, I guess. Not a ton. You know, three in a row. That's not bad. Anyway, so that's pretty sweet. They're coming out with the 20 win challenge uh, next week. So that should be pretty legit as well. So let's see how that goes. But anyway, let's hop into this Mega Minion challenge. Is it draft? Okay, no, it's not draft. So we can use the deck that I have been using. So let's see if it works as well in this challenge as it does in like grand challenges is on the ladder as it has been doing for me. So let's try this out. Okay, where are we at? We need the golem, obviously. We need the um, law. Oh, night witch, because she's in every flipping deck there is out there. The baby dragon. Where? Sh where's that at? Boom, boom. And then I need. <clears throat> let's see. What else is in that deck, dude? I forgot already. Goblins. I'm using goblins right now. Log, I think. Yep, definitely log. And then lightning. I think that's it. Right, guys? Right? I'm pretty sure that's it. 4.4. Let me just double check. Make sure that's the right deck. Log, lightning. Yep. So we're good to go. Okay. So let's get right into a battle here and see if we can't pull out a few victories because it's just what we're going to do. Uh, we want some mega minions and we want to make my battle deck happy by getting them to level... I think they're only level 9, so we gotta get them to level 10. So we'll see what we can do with that. Starting out with the Night Witch in the back. Every single person in the entire world uses the Night Witch. I feel horrible if you guys don't have it yet, have her yet, but she is definitely gonna get nerfed uh, this upcoming balance change. So do not worry. If you do not have her, don't worry too badly because she will get nerfed. Like almost, almost definitely. Almost definitely. So do not worry about that, not one bit. So he's starting out with a golem in the back. I will definitely match his golem here in a second. The only problem being, well, hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely match the golem, I think. That way, at least I have the golem to tank for whatever he drops behind his golem. Oh, really? Interesting move. I like it. I do like it. I thought it was smooth. Um, he's going to drop, it looks like, a miner as well. Hmm. That was a good play. That was a good play. I honestly did not see that coming. I think we should be able to save the tower just barely, and we will have a nasty counter push coming our way. Um, possibly. Possibly. His Night Witch is going to do a little bit of damage to our golem, because that's what Night Witches do. So we will come back with our baby dragon. Ooh, Electro Wizard is going to get taken out by our Mega Minion and our Night Witch. So we do have everything coming to his tower, and I think he's pretty much pooched, because he's trying to waste everything he can to defend that one tower. So... Lesson learned, lesson learned. Okay, that's a great start to this challenge, though, by the way. Excellent. And I think he's rolling, so he's rolling Golem Graveyard Dag with a little bit of minor action, which isn't too bad. Oh, crap. Just wasting elixir here, guys. Don't mind me. That's okay. That's why I hate using pumps. I'm so bad at my elixir efficiency anyway, and so when I use a pump, it almost, like, compounds the problem, and then I just wasted all my money on that pump, so it's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem, guys. Oh, shoot, I should have used the lightning there. Let's use lightning there. Take out the bandit. Take out that night witch. He's got miner coming in. That's good. That's good. That's actually not too bad. But we do have all that still going to the tower there. And I didn't realize that we have his king tower down that far, too. Holy crap. So this is definitely going to be a three crown. And I'm okay with that starting right off the bat with a three crown. I am definitely warm and fuzzy with that feeling. Uh, what should we do? <laughs> We don't need to do anything, do we? Just take it out? Take it out already! Holy cow! Dude, sweet. Good game. Good game. Excellent start to this challenge. That is great. Holy cow. Thank you very much, BMW Club. I'm sure you're enjoying your BMW, but you are not enjoying a win in the Mega Minion Challenge yet. Yet. Let's go ahead. Let's hop right into battle number two and see how that goes. Um... Gosh dang, okay, so 
I don't know this guy at all. I you know I usually know every single person that I play, but I do not know this guy unfortunately. So let's start out with a. Let's just wait and see what he does actually. Sometimes patience is the best key. Sometimes not. So he's gonna start out with a giant. So we will start out with our golem actually. Tank for whatever he's gonna throw behind his giant. We'll just let that golem die basically. Is that a good strategy? I don't think that's a good strategy, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to take out his giant with our Night Witch, which should do extremely well. For his Mega Minion, what do we have? We have a Baby Dragon we are going to use. Um, I knew he was going to do that. I was watching, just waiting. That's okay. We got Baby Dragon coming on the Night Witch. Night Witch won't do a whole ton against the Golem without her little bats. Oh, dang. He killed our bats. That was actually a good move. Nice job, buddy. But we still have Baby Dragon alive, and we have Golem on the tower there. Um, should take out that just fine. Our baby dragon's gonna die, so let's get ready with another pump and get ready to build up another push as soon as he starts coming our way. Oh, really? He's gonna start just like that. Does he think we are out of elixir, I guess? I don't know what he thought. That was interesting. That was a horrible move on his part. Don't bridge spam a giant, because I don't think that really pays off really well. Just as you just saw. So, just don't do it, okay? Anyway, so Baby Dragon we should be able to take out just fine. We're going to start another Golem right here. Tower... Ah, oh, we might take a little bit of damage. I think we're going to take two barfs. One. Two. Three! Oh, three barfs. That was horrible. That's okay. I'm not concerned. We will start a Night Witch up, and I'm not sure. I think I may just put another pump down and let the Night Witch kind of do her thing with the Golem. And I'm pretty sure that might be everything that we need over there. Nah, let's just go ahead and make sure we take this tower. Oh no, he put a giant down to tank. That was a good move. Uh, I don't know if he meant to do that, but it was a good move. That's for sure. Um, the clone spell, on the other hand, was not a great move. Right before the golem pop. So, that's on him. I'm going to put that all on him. So, we did take that tower. I'm still going to put an elixir collector down because I think we have a ton of elixir that we can just kind of waste right now. Because he is using so much elixir like a crazy man. He's doing like what I do normally, and just going to town on defending whatever he can. And I don't think it's going to work out too well for him. So let's get a golem in the middle. Um, just a tank for everything. Oh, lightning and golem. Oh, and the night witch, I guess. Took out that. So we should be able to take this other... Dude, what do you think? What are the chances the king tower goes down? What are the chances? Oh my gosh, those bats are going to take it down by its... Oh, why did it retarget? Oh, dang it. I thought those bats were going to take it down by himself. Oh, well. No big deal. We got that victory in the bag just the same. So, excellent start to the Mega Minion Challenge. Dude, I love this thing. And I get myself some Mega Minions now. I think I get five, right? Dude, tell me more. Tell me more. Five? No? None? None? Five. Here we go. Does it take this long for you guys? Holy cow, I just want my Mega Minions. Yeah, there we go. Five. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Yeah, so I do have a level nine Mega Minion. I'm trying to get it to level ten because... I don't have any rares that are level 10. I don't know how you guys do that. That's insane. Insane, by the way. Although, I have been requesting hogs exclusively. And I don't know why, because I hardly even use hogs anymore. <laughs> Although, I do like the card, definitely. Because, you know, hogs are great, but just haven't had a chance to use them a lot. So, what are we going to do with this executioner? We're going to probably lightning with a baby dragon action. Um, let's go baby dragon right here. Um, oh, and then he's going to go with that, huh? That's excellent. He's going to go ahead and fireball our pump, which I'm not too concerned about because we have... No! That was actually the best tornado of his entire life. <laughs> Nicely done, okay? <laughs> Nicely done. I'm going to... Dude, I have to throw well played that way. Tornado is super annoying to deal with. Basically, he's just going to tornado my golem right onto the tower, and that's super annoying, dude. I get so... And then it's just basically a stalemate from that point forward. Basically, that's what we're dealing with, a stalemate. So, P.E.K.K.A., excellent defense. He's got P.E.K.K.A., he's got the Executioner. He's got all the right cards in all the right places, really. Good for him. Good for him. So, we're going to throw our goblins down, maybe to distract... Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. No, take out that... Oh, dang it, that baby dragon is not going to take that Mega Minion out. Especially, especially with that little E-Wiz there. Although, we are getting a little bit of damage on the tower, but I think I'm wasting Elixir just like that guy did in that last match with me. And so, I don't think we're looking real good going forward. Come on, take that peck. I thought you could take that peck out a little bit quicker than that, dude. Whatever. 
So he's saving, he's saving his tornado. I'm gonna make him use his fireball. That way he doesn't have it in rotation. So let's make him use his fireball over here this time. We are gonna go, crap, he's got that dark, oh crap. Oh snap, what are we h and gonna do here? Holy crap, I did not think this through. We're gonna have to go over here, okay? And then over here, don't tornado, please don't tornado. Take that out, take that out, take it out, take it out! No! Yes, okay, we got the P.E.K.K.A down. Not great, not optimal. <laughs> we did get the P.E.K.K.A down. <laughs> Crap. We do have a golem that we can put down. He still did not tornado. So he is holding on to his tornado just to suck my golem over there, which sucks. But, <clears throat> hopefully we can get a push that's strong enough that we can actually get something happen. Let's see, what else is he going to put down? Oh, I think I might have missed the Mega Minion. Yep, I freaking missed the Mega Minion. I'm a gomer. I'm a gomer. Okay, let's go like that. I should have just lightning the tower, probably, because that's pretty much what we're going to have to do to win. Um, I'm glad. This guy's actually a very worthy average. Why would you tornado there? That was a horrible tornado. After everything you taught me, dude, don't tornado there. Do not tornado there. Let's get another golem down, and then we have a lightning coming our way. Come on, come on. Lightning that P.E.K.K.A. That's all we need to do. <laughs> lightning, it's, it's more for the E-Wiz. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I didn't see the Mega Minion there. That was excellent, way to pull that off. That was good. Then you didn't get no splash damage on your tower, nothing crazy like that. So let's go Mega Minion over here. We're gonna go Baby Dragon. I don't know why he's coming over on this side of the map right now, to be honest with you, but I like it. I do. Uh, just don't tornado that. <laughs> you know you don't want to. Okay, and then we're going to get a golem right in front of the witch. Come on, come on, right in front of the witch. No! All my bats are dead, and oh my gosh, his freaking executioner stays alive perfectly. Our golem will get to the tower unless he tornadoes. Come on, baby, come on, throw something else down. He threw that in a good spot. He did. Did I miss the tower? What is wrong with me, dudes? I thought that was his Mega Minion. That was my Mega Minion. <laughs> oh, this is why I'm a noob at this stinking game. Oh, my heck. Let's go Night Witch over here to distract, I guess. Baby Dragon's going to the tower. We're going to get a Mega Minion going to the tower over there real quick. Mega Minion going in hot. Guys, this could work. Just the Mega Minion alone taking the tower out. Come on. Come on. Boom. One. <laughs> I, think, I think the Mega Minion just saved us the game right here. <laughs> as long as we can cycle around to another, uh, what do you call that thing? Lightning? Yes. Another lightning and we should be golden. Boom. Mega Minion. And then, do -do 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 -do. lightning. Come on. Show me the money right here. Sorry, guys. That was about the longest match in history. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to win it. I thought he had that, but he kind of... I, I don't think he played that very well. I think he had us, for sure, because that deck is really hard for me to go up against. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe. Obviously, you guys probably already have, because why wouldn't you? Leave some likes and some comments below, and good luck.